India is a country which is uh, uh, growing at a pace which is faster than any other aviation market in, uh, in the world. Uh, India uh, in, uh, in Asia uh, is uh, one of the strongest partners. Uh, what will boost connectivity between EU and India if is India and the EU engage in a deeper aviation partnership? It has been a fantastic job done by India in terms of developing and upgrading its airport infrastructure. India is a country which is uh, uh, growing at a pace which is faster than any other aviation market in, uh, in the world. Uh, ACI forecasted that uh, uh, from now up to 2040, uh, this uh, pace of growth will be by 6% uh, every year. Only Indonesia, an emerging market, uh, will uh, grow at the same uh, uh, pace uh, in by, by 2040. Uh, India is a country uh, that, of course, from a macroeconomic uh, perspective, uh, uh, is uh, in uh, really uh, taking advantage uh, of uh, a lot of enablers to, to grow. And India is a country that is looking for the right uh, partnerships, is looking for the appropriate uh, uh, agreements that can uh, benefit its economy and uh, benefit uh, globally the society and, uh, and uh, the growth of, uh, of uh, the country. So, what can, uh, can we can we elaborate about the two countries? Uh, well, in the case of uh, the EU and uh, and India, uh, the agreement is certainly to start from uh, uh, sharing uh, best practices uh, by uh, uh, learning uh, uh, from uh, 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 you know how to sophisticate uh, the service for the consumers. Uh, uh, the Secretary Bansal uh, has defined uh, uh, this uh, uh, summit as a, an historic moment. And it's historic uh, uh, not uh, simply because uh, there are two parties which are extremely strong, but it's historic also in, uh, because uh, from, uh, those are uh, two economies uh, that uh, are going to continue to lead. Uh, India uh, in, uh, in Asia uh, is uh, one of the strongest partners. Uh, uh, countries and, and so we'll uh, we consider this agreement as a great opportunity for uh, the society, for the economy uh, to, to grow. And how will uh, benefit for the you know, beneficiaries? The, the, the key beneficiary can be the consumer uh, because uh, the consumer can be put in a position uh, to uh, fly to more destinations uh, uh, with a service uh, which is uh, seamless, uh, with uh, high quality uh, with, uh, uh, with a service that is uh, secure and safe. Uh, and, and both in the EU and uh, India have uh, a governance, have stakeholders uh, that have uh, learned how to do that. The, the, the issue is, is really to look on uh, uh, practices uh, that can enable the industry, uh, airports and airlines, uh, to provide that service to, to the passenger. And they need, of course, the support of uh, the regulators. Uh, so from an industry perspective, uh, this is important for us. We want, we hope uh, that uh, the authorities can be ambitious enough uh, uh, to take full advantage of uh, this agreement. I think it's not after the summit immediately. I think what will boost connectivity between EU and India if is India and the EU engage in a deeper aviation partnership potentially looking at initiating negotiation for a comprehensive aviation agreement that would fully liberalize market access for both EU and Indian airlines on the EU-India market. So uh, do you think that uh, airports, mm -hmm. that it is the tremendous changes in the regime in recent? Uh, well, I think, I think the, there's been a fantastic job done by India in terms of developing and upgrading its airport infrastructure. So I think now the market is ready to accommodate more air connectivity and more traffic. And I think it is a, a request and, and a wish of airports, both on the side of the EU and on the side of India, to indeed see more air connectivity facilitated through a comprehensive aviation agreement between the EU and India.